All right, everybody, uh, welcome to the People Cooler Than Me show where I will interview people cooler than me, which um, I am finding out hasn't been very hard to find. Uh, I have my, uh, my uh, co-host here, uh, Jared Gator. Jared, say hi. Hey, everyone. And Jared's hey, Jared. mic is <laughs> <laughs> Jared's mic is working. We had some fun times uh, with yeah. that uh, right before coming on. Um, and, and while we're talking about uh, technical difficulties, uh, actually this Saturday, we're doing a huge upgrade to um, uh, our, our entire, you know, uh, tech, uh, I don't know what you call it. In, yeah, setup, yeah. And uh, we're going to have new mics. We're gonna have a, a nice little set um, in there. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be on a whole new level Saturday, this Saturday. And uh, the goal, I'm in talks, we're, we're going live. I don't wanna announce it yet, but we have a very interesting guest um, that we'll hopefully have on uh, Saturday. Uh, but I don't wanna go too into detail on that, but it'll be Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, hopefully around that time. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that should be really good. Today on the show, I am very, ex very excited. Uh, we have a guy that I've gotten to know um, through Instagram and Twitter and just starting this show. Uh, we have uh, Jim, the call center boss. Say hi, Jim. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> yeah, I, I try. I try really hard not to steal that line from right. uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, but it's it's just it, so it, hard not to say it. Right? It takes every ounce of my being to not say it. So, um, right. anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, Jim has um, started his platform. Is it fair to say that you're at the very beginning of kind of starting your platform and documenting uh, your platform on Facebook and on Instagram? Yes, absolutely. I started uh, mid January. Um, I just okay. got the idea. I've been I've been in sales for uh, twenty five years plus. Yeah. So I'm not a young guy, um, but it's yeah. kind of time. You know, I just feel kinda, it's kind of time to give back a little bit. So uh, I just started with Facebook. Um, I've, I've expanded it onto YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. Um, my idea is to kind of just give back a little bit and try to help anybody that's out there, like a young entrepreneur that uh, you know needs to sell their product or service to a business uh, and doesn't know how to pick up the phone, doesn't know what to do. Yeah, so um, Jim is in sales and he posts content. It's really great, guys. Look, sales is the foundation of entrepreneurship. If you're not doing sales, then you're not doing business. So, um, you know, Jim goes on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, he's posting great advice, um, not just for sales, but for cold calling specifically. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of people who, who have problems picking up the phone and just uh, cold calling someone. Um, and so I know that that's a very useful skill to have, though. So that's why I was like, we got to have Jim on the show to talk about this. So, um, Jim, uh, can, so uh, can you say again, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been doing cold calling specifically? Okay, so I've been cold calling or uh, managing uh, call center floors for about six or seven years now. Uh, my, I started out originally, most of my sales experience is from outside sales. Uh, so what that means is like account representatives. Um, I worked for a produce company selling produce to chefs and, and restaurants and hotels in Las Vegas, actually. I actually sold to Emeril Lagasse. Uh, I sold to Wolfgang Puck and those kinds of things. Um, but I kind of expanded. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So wait, 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 wait. So you you you, you, cold, cold, you, you cold called the emerald? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> emerald, emerald, you know. Bam, emerald. Yeah. Bam, yeah, bam. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, how yeah. that's how he answered the phone, right? <laughs> no, actually, I uh, I was uh, outside sales rep, so I was face to face at that time. Oh. So I was selling produce. Yeah. So when he uh, when he first moved into the MGM Grand, he brought his first uh, restaurant there. Um, I called on him. Uh, my, well, basically, I handled all the white tablecloth uh, restaurants and hotels and all that. So, him, his being a white tablecloth restaurant, um, I cold called him actually and uh, signed his, signed up for his account or signed his account up. Awesome, very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah. um, where did you go from there? Uh, from well, I sold produce for quite a while. Um, uh, before that, I was actually a chef, and that's how I got into the produce sales. Um, and then I've just progressed. Uh, I sold produce for a very long time. Uh, I started actually moved into phone sales about six or seven years ago. I sold for Verizon, uh, moved myself up the ladder, and uh, I've actually been running call center floors uh, for this particular company. We do a few different campaigns for them for about six six years or so, something like that. Okay, so. Uh 
what you said that you want to you have all of this experience and you want to give back um do you feel like what what is your take on um modern day uh cold calling is it is it is it crucial and do people see it as crucial and if so uh is it, you know how, what's your take on um people today and and um how uh are, are, do you feel like there's a lack of cold calling skills out there? Are there people that are just avoiding it altogether because they're scared? I mean, what's the what's your take on on cold calling today? Yeah, that's a good question. I think it's super important, especially if uh, I work with I, I mentor a little bit, um, but I work with a few people that um, like, for instance, if you are um, a web designer or something like that, and you want to sell, uh, you know, you want to do web. Um, web designing for small businesses. You know, you want to call Bob's Bakery or uh, the janitor <laughs> or the uh, um, uh, you know, not the janitor, <laughs> but the plumber <laughs> down the street or something. Somebody with a small business. Yeah. Then you would need to, um, you know, then they need to call them to to set up the business. And I'm just kind of try to help them to be able to pick up the phone and kind of know what to say. So, so what? So let's get into the advice then. How about it? Okay. All right. Let's do okay. it. All right. So um, uh, let's let's talk about what are um let's 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 just do some key things some key things that people okay. can remember right off the bat um about when they they pick up the phone and they call a prospect um actually yeah let's start let's start with um how to how do you find a prospect how do you make sure you're not calling the janitor or or that you're calling the right janitor or um <laughs> that you know <laughs> Wait, I don't want to call the janitor. <laughs> how do you how do you call the right prospect Okay, well, uh, yeah, that kind of thing you want to kind of reverse engineer uh, who you feel is your uh, perfect candidate or for perfect prospect. Um, and then you just kind of source it out. If you're doing something local like that, um, the yellow pages, um, there's, there's plenty of apps um, on, uh, on the internet that you can kind of scrape uh, phone numbers from, that kind of thing. Uh, but you just kind of want to identify the person that you want to go after and then create a list and then get started calling. Create a little bit of a script and start calling. Okay, so uh, is there anything else that they need to do to prepare before they pick up the phone? They need a script. <laughs> they don't want to completely wing it, um, but they need. It's all about uh, product knowledge, really. They really need to know what product or service they're selling. So um, it has to kind of be a conversation, right? The best part of uh, the best people that can sell get into a conversation about their product and just basically ask questions. But if so there's a script, but if there's a script, it's not conversational, right? Or do you, is it? A, do you try to balance that line? Right. No, that's a good question. So you want a script because you're going to uh, when you're going to kind of weed through quite a few different calls until you find a person that's that's kind of willing to listen to you. So you need kind of a quick opening script uh, to talk to them to kind of get you know gauge their interest. Once you get a person that's interested in in what you have to sell or your service or or whatnot, then you need the product knowledge and the ability to kind of build rapport and uh, and be able to kind of have a conversation, find out what their needs are, find out um, you know how your service can help them. And then you can present the presentation, kind of guide it that way. Okay, so uh, they pick up the phone. They so at that point you're not scripted, right? Yeah. I, I was just, yeah, I was just yeah, sorry. I was just gonna say at that point you're not scripted at all. At that point you need to uh, have your product knowledge, and that way you can kind of go whichever direction you need to go to kind of show the prospect exactly uh, what you can do that can help them. And that <laughs> all comes from asking questions. At that point, you need to actually know what you're talking about too. That's, <laughs> right, that's where you right, said product right. knowledge, right? <laughs> Okay, right, so exactly. yeah. so they, they pick up the phone. They've done their research. Yes. They they've memorized their script. Um, right. Uh, they uh, they dial the number, and I know that this isn't always the case, but the person they want picks up right away. And again, I know that you know a lot of times you get a receptionist, or you know you don't necessarily get sure. to the person you want. A lot of times you get a voicemail. Um, Certainly. But but in this case, they uh, they pick up right away, um, and uh, they it's. They 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 identify this person as the person that they need to talk to. Uh, what's right. what's what's the very next thing they do? Okay, at that point they'd want to ask a question in regards to whatever their product is um, and whether that prospect uses that product and if they find that they're having trouble in that area. Something so you're like uh, yeah, like uh, first uh, first they'd find out uh, if they handle that situation within their company. Then they would ask them, uh, you know. Um, you could say something like this. Here's like a common thing. You would say something like, uh, uh, I find that, you know, one of the most common problems that, uh, that people that I deal with or people that I help have is, do you seem to have that same type of problem? Do you find that that's difficult for new sales reps to, to, to accomplish? 
Uh, yes, it takes repetition. Okay, and um, so what are what are some of the mistakes then that you see some newbies making in in that first that first cold call in the first few minutes? Uh, first of all, nervous, really nervous, right? Uh, they have to be very very confident, um, and uh, the repetition thing. So uh, most of the time, newbies have trouble picking up the phone. First of all, so what they'll do is they'll overanalyze, they'll overscript themselves, right? They'll uh, They'll write the script and they'll read it to themselves and they'll think about a scenario. What if they say this? Ooh, I better kind of cover that in the script. And they'll start to get ready to call and they'll get nervous. Oh, what if they say this? And they'll get nervous. And, and it's all about like call reluctance is what it's called. It's all about like they're afraid to make the call. Um, so, uh, you know, they have to get past that. You just have to go for it. If you make mistakes, it's not a problem. You can just adjust. Okay. So um, Jim puts out all of his tips he, he, he goes um you know into examples and things like that on his facebook page i think that's where probably you want to direct people right yes absolutely so uh, if you my if facebook you go, is at but, sorry go ahead <laughs> quick plug right <laughs> it's just at call center boss <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at him yeah. stepping all over my plug <laughs> <laughs> right dude yeah <laughs> yeah at call center boss don't, don't bring Jared in on it. He's on my side. Um, so oh yeah, if you go, if you go to uh, Facebook and search call center boss, it comes up. I also noticed right. if you go to Google and search call center boss, the, your Facebook page is like the, after the ads is like the second or third result. So that's fantastic. Um, awesome. Yeah. yeah especially so, for like creating it in January. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's going along pretty well. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to uh, do is, uh, yeah. I was just going to go into kind of what I've been trying to do. I'm, I try to post every single day on Facebook, um, at least once or twice. Once really. Instagram, I do two posts every day, um, sometimes three if I can. Twitter, I, I kind of mimic or copy uh, Instagram over to Twitter and kind of uh, use that platform that way. And then I also put my uh, uh, videos up on YouTube and also put them onto my website, which is kind of like a blog with it's just the videos and then I just have like a transcription of, of what I said on the video, kind of simple. What's your website again? I try to do all that all day. Um, website is callcenterboss.org. Okay, cool. All right, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about what everyone I think who follows this channel is interested in is the very, very beginning of starting something. You started in January, you're trying to build a platform um, can you be a, okay. a little bit um, transparent about what that's like? Is are you having are you having trouble? I mean, you have a you have an eight to five, so um, like most of us. Right. Uh, and then, so are you having trouble um, finding time to post those videos to do the social media posts? Were you much of a social media person before all this started? Um, I mean, that's what's a, that been right. like? That's a great question. Um, I didn't even have a Facebook. Okay, my wife has the Facebook. I never even had the Facebook for real. <laughs> And, uh, but I know that this is the way that uh, I can get my message out. It's really the only way it's the most cost effective way. So I started from scratch. I started with Facebook and Facebook is primarily the one that I really, really focus on. My wife helps me a little bit with Instagram. I make the videos or I, I, I tell her, you know, help her with what to say. And, you know, and I do all the kind of comments and everything that's all me, but I, she helps me also to uh, post up there on Instagram. Um, but that's how I started. I was a little bit nervous. I was like, I need to, you know, I want to do this. I want to help people. Um, but, you know, and I just had to basically start from scratch. I basically had to start a personal Facebook because I didn't have one just so I could create a business page. <laughs> um, but I've just researched it like crazy and just researched it and found out what works and just trial and error. And it's really taken off. Okay. Oh, so it's, it's taken off. You feel like you're, you have a lot of momentum already. Starting to, yeah, starting to, starting to get there. Okay, so um, where do you think that momentum has come from? Where have you, where have you seen success? To someone who's out there who um, is is really at the beginning and they are at zero followers on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram tonight. They go and they post, they put up those pages tonight. They're at zero followers. What right. what can you encourage them with um, to see to feel feel like three months later they are where where you're at? You know, um, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I have to be honest. I follow a lot of what Gary Vaynerchuk talks about. Um, I will, I go, I hashtag, I comment. A lot of it's commenting. Um, I try to answer any questions. Uh, I'll go onto Twitter and I'll search for any kind of sales tip questions or, or that kind of thing. I'll try to answer those questions. Um, I 
uh, got involved in a few sales groups on Facebook, which is great. Uh, once you're involved in a sales group, you have an audience right there. So, you know, as long as you don't abuse that audience and try to like, you know, sell, sell what you're trying to do all of the time and you interact all of the time, then when you do kind of come in, it's kind of like the, the right hook, right? Every once in a while, you do come in and, and mention here, here's a video, here's what I do, here's the tips. Boom, 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 boom. I get a lot, you know, I'll get a lot of followers from that as well. Yeah, I think that's something that um, we should hone in on is is that you, um, it's 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 not just about going out there and, and posting things. Although that posting regularly is going to help you out a lot, uh, but it's it's also about actually engaging with the communities that you're on. If you're on Twitter, you need to be doing at replies, and we can talk about our video uh, at replies that I think have been a lot of fun uh, that you and I have both tried. Um, and then right. uh, we can you can you know, um, your hashtagging and then um, on Twitter, I really liked what you said. You said that you go to Twitter, guys, it's twitter.com slash search. And right. you can put you can put keywords in there and find things that people are tweeting about. So if someone's tweeting about a problem, uh, you could answer that problem. Yeah, it, it sounds like you've done a little bit of that. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what I do. And then when I post um, everything that I do is um, I try to do to help. So what I'll do is I'll go on to I'll even look at other uh, sales tip guys. Um, I'll look at their YouTube and I'll see, um, uh, you know, I'll see comments and questions about, you know, I'd like to see a video about this or I'd like to see, you know, what, you know, how do you rebuttal this or how do you do that? And then I will take that and I'll incorporate that and I'll actually make a video regarding that. I'll try to answer it and then I'll do a video because I know that that's what people want. So I'm trying to figure out what people want more than what I want to tell them. Yeah. So figuring out what, what is, how you can add value to your community and not really ask mm -hmm. any, anything in return, right? Until um, it's, it's exactly. And that's what you mentioned the the right hook that's actually a reference to um uh at the at the risk of sounding like hero worshipers uh gary vaynerchuk wrote a book um called jab 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 right hook the concept being that um you have three or four jabs for every one um right hook and if you really follow gary vaynerchuk it's like a hundred jabs <laughs> for every um right. right hook and the right hook is just the 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 jabs are, are are creating value creating value creating value and then the right hook is the ask it's asking your community you know, will you go and buy a t-shirt? Will you um, hire me for sales consulting? Um, you know, whatever it is. Have you figured out what that, that right hook is or are you right. not even thinking about that at that point? I'm not even thinking total right hook. The, the right hooks that I've done are just asking for follows or asking for people to change from one platform to another. I've been doing Instagram for about the same amount of time. My Instagram is actually creating the most traffic or the most uh, uh, traction of, of all my platforms, even though I focus mostly on Facebook, actually. Wow, um, that's interesting. But I, I, it is. Um, but I haven't uh, even asked for anything on Instagram. I finally, uh, I'm doing this, we're, we're changing our campaign here. So it's a complete change of campaign, which is a big deal. It's like all the agents have to learn something completely new. So it's almost like starting something from scratch. So I've been documenting that. So. I'm making kind of a push because I want people to kind of see that I'm documenting how it works, you know, how a call center is because it's a little bit crazy up in, you know, up in here. It's kind of crazy. Um, so I want to kind of show these people what it's like, right? And how you design a script and how you uh, show, um, you know, how you think about rebuttals and you kind of think about what people are going to say and you kind of try to come up with, you know, how you can phrase it so that, um, you know, they understand your product and that kind of thing. Anyway, so I wanted people to kind of really focus on that. So. I did my first right hook, I guess you could say, on Instagram, finally asking, say, you know, telling them that, um, you know, if you really want to follow my content, because I do have longer videos and that kind of thing on Facebook, please go to my Facebook and like the page. And uh, and it worked really well. I mean, I've never asked for anything. Once I asked for that, it was like I saw a big transition from people that are my Instagram people move over to Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think by... By not pushing, by not pushing all the time, and just kind of putting putting out content and that kind of thing. When I did ask, it seemed to really help. Yeah, that's huge. If you put out the value, then when you do ask, you do have that ask. People really don't mind it so much because you've given them so much value. So that's really great. Um, yep, that's not yeah, and so uh, yep. the um, Twitter at replies real quick. I'll just I'll just mention it. Um, it's actually yeah, I think yeah. I think that's actually how I got connected with you. Um, yeah, it absolutely. Was, it was a random tip in like one random video that I saw and um, I went out to, to Twitter and literally everyone who in, engaged with me, uh, I went to, typically they engage with me th through a tweet. Um, so I would go to that tweet, you go to reply, the reply button like you always do, but in the, in the I think it's the bottom left or the left corner, 
um, but I'm not 100% sure, it's a camera icon on your phone and you click it and you can do a video reply. You can reply to the person with a quick personal video. Literally hold your phone up. Hey, thanks for the tweet, I really appreciated it. Uh, you know, and then and you, know, you connect with the person, use their name and use the context of the tweet so they know it's a personal video, that you didn't just post some random thing. And people love it, I mean, people love it. So, and it's not just, you know, it's about, again, it's just another way that you can engage and show that you're really trying to be a productive member of the community, that you're trying to engage, trying to create value and all those things, and, and it's a nice little personal touch. Yep, absolutely. That's that's exactly right. That's exactly Jared. That's exactly how Tyler showed me how to do it <laughs> because I all of a sudden here, uh, you know, I was I got, I got a message. I look and here's this guy, Tyler, and he's responding to me with, via video. And uh, so I was like, "Wow, oh, dude, that was pretty cool," you know. And he immediately like gave me a little tutorial like that. And he's like, "Do it like this and this." Cool. I don't think that's yeah. how it <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, he showed me how to do it. I replied back and uh, yeah, so, so something right. that I was I was thinking about. Cool. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, yeah, I, was, I was just gonna say, and, and now I have incorporated that actually. Now I do it all the time, and it is a really good way to engage. You can do it on Instagram as well. Really? Yeah, you'll a little tip. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, now you're giving me a tip. So is this like a is this like a <laughs> he's giving like I'm interested. Yeah, yeah <laughs> is this I'm, a, I'm giving it is this an Instagram comment? Yeah, on DM. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah direct DM. message. Direct yep, message. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people are fairly responsive too. Yeah, I've yep. gotten really great. Responses. Totally. Wait. Guys, you yep, can straight. turn people who interact with you in any way. You can turn them into followers by doing this. So literally, go and and, and give it a shot. And the worst case scenario is people think you're weird and creepy. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> But I haven't had that reaction yet, so I don't know. Um, it's 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 probably that's isn't that isn't that the isn't that what it always is with sales and things like that too? You're putting yourself out there and you're afraid that people are gonna um, think think one way or another about you. You know, like who's this person reaching out to me? I mean, I'm sure you run into it totally. with cold calls. Yeah, cold call, especially with cold calling. Um, that's part of the call reluctance that uh, a new cold caller um, comes up with is just that fear of you know. What if they hang up on me? What if they yell at me? What if they cuss me out and that kind of thing? And it, it will happen. You just have to know, yes, I'm going to get cussed out. Yes, I'm going to uh, you know, be yelled at. However, I'm going to find some people that my product or service can, can really help. And it really goes down, comes down to you have to really believe in what you're uh, selling. If you don't believe in what you're selling, it's not going to work for you. You have to have that fortitude to go, okay, I know this product's going to help this person. I know this service is going to help them. You just need so that you have that strength to just plow through that. Once you get someone that is a little bit interested, then you can really sell them on it because you believe in it. And so you can come across and, uh, and they feel that passion through the phone and, and, uh, and you keep them on the phone. Jim, I have a million questions for you, but I know you got to get going. I, I really appreciate you being on the show. One more time, we're going to send people okay. out to your, to your Facebook page. Again, go to Facebook and type in the call center boss. Uh, and it should, it's just call center boss, not even the. And uh, right, exactly. it, it, should, it should come up. Um, or you can Google call center boss and get the same effect. Um, uh, Jim, we are, we'll, we'll, we'll let you go here, but I just want to say one last, one last time with the sales tips and building your platform. Uh, you're killing it on Instagram and Facebook, so I'm definitely going to have to go check out what you're doing and try to implement the same thing. But it is official. You Thanks. are definitely cooler than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. I had a good time. Thanks, Jim. I'll talk appreciate to you later. It. You can just close that that chat window and uh, yeah, okay. we appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, so, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, Jared. Um, we yeah, are going to stay on. Normally, we stop the broadcast there, but we're going to stay on because we want to talk to our YouTube subscribers right now. Um, so I, we have a, um, a special, uh, a special, um, uh, gift giveaway that we're going to do for our YouTube subscribers. And it can be people who aren't subscribed right now who will then hit the subscribe button and you're in, man, you're in this giveaway. Um, uh, Jared, um, okay. So, so Jared will tell you what you have to do in order to win, uh, <laughs> in, a, in a second. But uh, right now I want to show you what this, what the prize is. Now, most of our fans come from uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's platform, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk or Ask Gary V. Um, that's most of the people who are on the show just by virtue of the fact that our first episode is like almost up to 700 views or might be over. I'm, I don't want to, I think it's up almost up to 700 views. Um, and uh, uh, 
that was all that was based off of a it's sort of a spinoff of a viral segment on the Ask Gary V show. So most of our subscribers are familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk at least. And so we are going to do a giveaway for a Gary Vaynerchuk uh, official T-shirt. And let me show you right here. Um, this is the T-shirt that we're going to give away. Patience is key. Patience is key because all of us are in the very beginning stages of starting our business. And so, um, you know, right now, this is probably the most important thing that everyone can can kind of know about. So um, patience is key. So Jared, do you want to go ahead and tell, I'll switch this back, go ahead and tell our uh, customer, or our, sorry, our subscribers, um, uh, they haven't given us money yet. We need to figure out like, how to get, whoa, hello. Yeah. <laughs> we need to figure out how to get, get some money from these people. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're, uh, we're just here to provide value. So. Um, Tell our subscribers how they can win a Gary Vaynerchuk T-shirt. Yeah, guys. And we'll so give us many. Just go on to Facebook. Give us a like at the People Cooler Than Me show. Go on there. Give us a like. Send us a tweet even if you want to. We have the Instagram, all of that. What you're going to want to do, though, is go on there. Give us a like. Recommend us to some of your friends. Show us that you're on there and you're trying to show your love for our show. So all you got to do is go on there. Give us a like. And you can get yourself in the running for that free T-shirt. Yeah, so you have to be a subscriber of our show on YouTube. Uh, you have to, that's to qualify. Then you have to go out to Facebook and give us a like. And I'm going to go ahead and say it, Jared. You have to go to Twitter as well. No, you're Facebook. throwing it in there. Yep. You have to go to Twitter or Facebook, and you have to mention us in a post. It could be Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, and you have to mention us in a post. So let me go over it again. To qualify, you have to be a subscriber of the show. Then you have to uh, so like us or follow us on Facebook, and then we got to see you in a post. You have to you have to tag us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. One of those three. You have to be on one of those platforms. Come on, and uh, you can you you will get a T-shirt. You will get a thirty dollar T-shirt from Gary Vaynerchuk. I promise you. And you so. Should <laughs> exactly. But you won't have to have patience for this because we will send it to you. It'll be yours to keep. So, um, anyway, we really appreciate it. Uh, we love all of our subscribers. We've had incredible feedback um, on YouTube, and uh, we just really appreciate all of you guys. We, Like I said, Saturday, we're going to be upgrading the show. We look forward to making this better and better and providing more value. Uh, but for now, we got to sign off, guys. Uh, thanks for joining the show, and uh, we will talk to you on Saturday. Quick shout.